So uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I will talk about uh, Redux uh, runtime reconfiguration techniques, um, and um, I will try. To, uh, try uh, I will start with it. Um, well, all of you know that Redux is an amazing library, and uh, one uh, of its features that it's really extensible, and uh, uh, you can do uh, you can do a lot of things with the middlewares and store enhancer and, and such. Um, uh, the the thing is um, that in Redux, when you compose your uh, root reducer, the problem is that if you have some uh, lazy loaded components or if you have some um, components that, uh, that are conditionally mounted, you have to put all of them inside the uh, inside the root uh, root reducer. Uh, and for for that way, we, uh, for this, we we need the, the reconfiguration. So basically, why bother reconfiguring? Uh, as I said, it's for conditional mounting, it's for lazy loaded components, or dependency injection per component. Uh, so as I said, the, sta the, the global state uh, that consists of uh, a lot of uh, uh, state keys and reducers that, uh, that are lazy loaded, most of them are lazy loaded, is, uh, is not clean uh, for me. So um, there are some techniques that can be used uh, uh, Redux extensibility can be used in order to, uh, to achieve uh, the lazy uh, loading and the Redux reconfiguration. Uh, so the basis of uh, all these te techniques is uh, a function that Redux provides to us, which is replace reducer. Uh, and you may have heard of it. Um, so uh, the first technique I would like to introduce is, is the most simple way, is the store, store enhancer way. You create uh, basically a store enhancer. You put inside the store enhancer uh, a sync reducers object, and then you create inject reducer function, uh, which uh, inside of it will execute replace reducer and rep replace all the uh, reducer application. Uh, basically, the store enhancer is like a couple uh, uh, a couple of rows, as you can see here, and. Uh, Inject uh, lazy load reducer, basically taking uh, uh, a sync reducer and putting it inside the, the replace reducer, uh, passing to a combined reducers function. Um, and and that, uh, that is the simplest way. The, the more complex way, but, uh, and yeah, sure, you can view it on code pen after the lecture. Um, the second is Redux Actions way which is basically, um, uh, it means that you will have a producer that will store uh, array or map of your mounted components and uh, of your reducers. Uh, and uh, the reducers array or map will be populated once uh, respective actions are triggered. Um, well, uh, what, what does it mean and what, what are my steps to creating such behavior? Um, first of all, you create a producer on mounted components array map uh, and reducer object state keys. Uh, then, obviously, you create component mount action and register reducer action, right? Uh, with the respective, uh, uh, w with the reducer uh, behavior of taking this action and, uh, and returning the, the correct state. Uh, then you create add reducer utility function or you use it with a thunk, which will trigger both register reducer action for introspection and such, and uh, uh, will trigger replace reducer. Uh, because replace reducer will have all the uh, reducers inside the application, uh, it can easily uh, pass it to combine reducer and compose your new uh, state key with the, uh, the new loaded reducers. Um, for uh, React uh, specific use case, you can also create mounted component wrapper that will wrap your component in, provide, uh, in provider and on component will mount, you will execute uh, mounting action. Plus, you will execute this utility f function, add reducer, or thunk. Um, but uh, there is something uh, I would suggest to do. Um, don't export your connected component as is. I told before that, that you can use dependency injection, right? So uh, think of component facade. Uh, which will define its dependencies. Uh, think of a simple object that will have uh, like name, uh, your component name, a reducer, a state key, and its dependencies, and create some utility function that, will, uh, that can deal with this component, trigger render, and uh, all, the, uh, all the respective actions. 
uh, of course, all the code is uh, is on CodePen, so you can easily access it. Uh, ch check this out, and uh, thank you.